Hello, N4 H and H here. Have a new toy. Uh, this is from NY 4G Ariel. It's one of Ariel's aerials. Uh, it's an NFED half wave uh, designed and built by Ariel Jakala NY 4G. So I'm gonna. I've got the top of it, and uh, now let's uh, let's pull this out. This one will have two pieces. Huh. Because I ordered a extension for 80 meters, <clears throat> I ordered this uh, antenna. Aerial Aerial gives you a great write up. Revision two, December 23rd. Um, explains all about it. Look at that illustration. And uh, you know, front to back instructions here. <clears throat> This one is, uh, the base antenna is resonant on these five bands, 40 meters, 20 meters, 15 meters, 10 meters, and six meters, no links. You have the option, uh, optional addition of a link to make it uh, as, a <coughs> as a half wave on 30 meters. And I did uh, go for that option. You have another option uh, for a link to make it a half wave on 17 meters. Another option of at least 21 feet of wire, and it can be a half wave on 60 meters, which is a very popular band for us here in the southeastern United States. <clears throat> and then uh, option uh, addition of a coil at an, an eight and a half feet stub wire for 80 meter operation, which I did also order. So all kinds of illustrations in here. Technical details, care and maintenance. Nicely done, Ariel. So uh, let's see what we have. And bubble wrap. Let me see. <clears throat> you see how he shipped it? Priority mail. Nice box. This was. <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't think this is the main antenna. I think this is the extender. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> so this is the uh, 80 meter extender. You know, for, okay, so I like 60 meters. And, and if LNR Precision would make a radio with 20, 30, 40, and 60 meters, I'd be all about that. But I've been asking them for two years. I don't even get response to my emails. So I finally ordered the 20, 30, 40, 80 MTR 4B, the version two that just came out. I, I've not received it yet, but I'm I've got getting everything ready to go for it. Uh, I have everything except the uh, radio. <laughs> so, um, in fact, hold on one second. I'm going to grab the little box that I ordered. So this is what I'm going to carry my entire radio except the antenna in. So I'll, I'm going to pull out the little squares in this foam and, uh, That'll hold the radio, and it should be enough room for a couple of nine volt batteries, my Morse key maybe. Here's the cable for my Morse key, earbuds, and an adapter that I made to go from Dean's to Anderson Power Pole. There's a 1N4007 diode in there on the uh, plus side um, with the stripe <clears throat> toward the load, toward the radio. And uh, that drops the bio NO batteries down enough that they're safe to use with the LNR precision. You don't want to exceed 13 volts. So that diode <clears throat> would allow me, if I needed to, to hook this up to a bio NO battery. I'm probably going to power it mostly from a 9 volt or a 11.1 volt LiPo. And uh, the Dean's connector is much smaller, lighter, you can see there. 
Uh, so it's a little better for portable use and my LiPo batteries have the Deans on them. But if I got it in a bind and I needed to, I could use a Bioeno by using this adapter. So that'll be the carrying case for the radio uh, portion of my QRP CW setup. And so since, like I said, since LNR never answered my questions about the possibility of getting a 20, 30, 40, and 60 meter version, I went ahead and ordered the, uh, the, the standard one with 80 meters. And so uh, I got Ariel to build this extender to be able to do 80 meters so I can get, you know, my close in friends in the Southeast. Um, you know, we have a, a kind of tight knit group here in the Southeast of, and we always try to chase one another. And um, you know, if you're not close enough for a two meter chase, uh, then you got to use 60 or 80 and we've actually found sometimes that 60 uh, <clears throat> Has been better than 80 You know the 60 meter band I've shot videos about that. It's a great band and it's it is that uh, In between band, you know, the reason we have it is because we argued uh, say we the uh, Ham radio community and the FCC actually was on our side with this <clears throat> argued that the 60 meter band w would be great for com uh, emergency communications. Um, it, you know, has the ability to reach areas that uh, 80 would be not far enough for and 40 would be too long. Well, there it is. <clears throat> uh, nice, made out of wood. The ballon is hand wound, it's in here. Antenna jack. And there's the antenna. Nice, nice winder. How about that? That thing is nicely made. Um, let's see. So it looks like the, we have a uh, strain relief here. And uh, I might change, change that. <clears throat> My brother got one of these, W4KWM. And instead of uh, smashing the wire underneath a washer, he drilled three little holes and and went through, back through, and back through, and made a strain relief that way. But that's okay. Um, we'll uh, we'll see how it, we'll see how it does. There's a link. It's an Anderson power pole, and I believe that is involved for the 30 meter uh, band. So you know, I'll read the instructions. I'll get this out and uh, and give it a give it a try on the trail. So there it is, the NY4G NFED half wave. Um, I understand. That in case you're watching this and you're wondering, what's the power capability? I'll be using it with my QRP rig um, <clears throat> because for high power and sideband, I'm usually hiking with a uh, soda beams. Uh, 20, 40, 60 meter link dipole. Um, so I ordered this for the uh, uh, for the for the uh, QRP rig, but according to uh, Ariel, it can handle 60 watts sideband um, and 40 watts CW. I believe he said 30 watts for digital, which I don't do. But uh, so 60 watts sideband and uh, 40 watt CW, well, a five watt LNR Precision uh, MTR4B is not gonna get close to that. So there we go. Um, looking forward to getting that out on the trail and, and uh, giving it a field test. Just thought I'd let you guys uh, uh, watch while I uh, unpacked it. Oh, look at that. See, that type of strain relief is what my brother did. He drilled holes and, and weaved, weaved it through uh, the wood here but you know I'll, I'll give this a whirl if it's no problem I'll just leave it alone for now okay uh, hope you enjoyed the video unboxing the NY4G NFED half wave we call it uh, Ariel's Ariel uh, several um, of our southeastern um, soda activators are using these already are very very effective uh, I'll close with this my friend Joel KC4WZB was uh, in Florida uh, over the weekend and um, 
I know, I think it was Monday. No, it might have been Sunday. Joel was in Florida, and he had one of these, and his new ICOM IC705 putting out 10 watts, and I worked him on a single sideband, um, 40 meters, and he was a 5.7 and flirting with 5.8 on my stingy FTDX 5000 S meter. If you've watched the video on S meters, you know what I mean by that. So, um, yeah, the, uh, the antenna performed very well for him. Um, and also, too, by the way, this, I should mention what this is. If you want to uh, add a counterpoise, you're welcome to. That's why he put that there. Although it's not needed in, until you get much above 15 uh, watts. But uh, there, that is where you would want to put a counterpoise. You know, something uh, eighth wave or so on the longest band. Um, and uh, that would be where that would attach. But again, I'll be using a 5 watt radio, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, thank you to my Patreons for helping keep the, uh, ch the channel going. And uh, if you'd like to participate as a Patreon, go to www.patreon.com slash N4HNH. And the uh, biggest uh, thing you can do to help the channel is subscribe. All right, 73 from N4HNH.